Red Dan. Almost a perfect entry. I'm just smacking the wall. Ease off there. There we go. Little left foot brake, little hand brakes. What's up, everybody, and welcome back here for another Torque Drift episode here on the mobile devices. So we are going to be taking a look at that chase challenge that everybody's been going for. The leaderboards are pretty stacked right now with this uh, Rad Dan chase challenge. Uh, I believe I'm somewhere in the 81s. I could have sworn I was there. I am 81, 7, 32 is mine. I'm 192nd. Definitely want to get up there higher, but these guys have been stepping up these scores they were 97 and stuff like that earlier now we're at 120 for the highest that's insane this chase challenge is actually very difficult red dan threw us a little curveball on entry and if you guys know what i'm talking about you'll know going through the parking lot so we're going to run it for a few times today see if we can't get a little bit higher on that leaderboard and uh try a couple different cars definitely been having a lot of fun with these chase challenges torque drift needs to bring more out these are a lot of fun we're going to run our e46 first we're running the uh Custom tires in the front, but stock tires in the rear. There's reasoning for that. Bringing a full episode about tires and stuff like that here uh, later this week. So we're going to go. We already got, like I said, 81. So now we're just going to go for uh, points and scores. So we're going to kick this up in the fourth. And we're just going to go full send. He's up a little bit. So we can kick it in with Red Dan right on his door, right down the jump. Nice and tight. Oh, I wish I wouldn't have hit him. Because that would have been so much better. So we're kind of offline now. And we kind of just totally biffed our uh, speed there. So we're just going to give it a reshot. That was a nice entry, though. Perfect entry on there. So this is a very tough challenge going through that parking lot section. Because you got to be as close as you can to him. And when I first ran this, I did not expect him to throw it in there. So I totally like smashed into him and passed him out. I'm sure 90% of the people did because nobody knew where he was going to be going. So Rad Dan throwing us a huge curveball in his chase challenge here on yard. Now we're falling a little bit behind. Need to be a lot closer, so we're going to try and cut the angle a little bit. We're going to hop the curb and try and pull doors and try and get as many points as we can. And this is the part that I tend to fall back a little bit. Because when he jumps up, it kind of comes to almost a stop. And I need to uh, be able to uh, initiate on the jump section with him. It's just my personal uh, line. And uh, it still works. Probably could get a lot more points if I stayed closer. So this this run is pretty much not going to be higher than my last run. But we're going to finish it off anyways. Into the wall and 360. So we're going to keep trying this. You're gonna make a lot of mistakes doing this. I've made a lot of mistakes trying to get this, but you know, you're just trying to be as so close as you can, and you want to rub the door, but you also don't want to rub too hard to lose all the points. Because if you hit the door too hard, you'll lose the points, and you also want to get out there and get out on the walls for all the close call points as well, and still stay in speed and stuff like that. It's a very woo, interesting chase challenge. That was a uh, Super close on that transition. And we are grabbing Rad Dan's door right now. Rad Dan, big shout out to you throwing us a little curve. Ball. Mm. Nobody saw that. Throwing us a bit of a curveball here on this chase challenge going into the parking lot. It's super fun. It is very technical and pretty difficult. And a lot of people are have been uh you know, low point scoring. I was lucky enough to get up in the 80s and uh, on the leaderboard, but I'm nowhere near the 120 yet. And uh, I thought my 81 point run was uh, the best I could do in the 46. But uh, apparently I need to be able to do better and get closer and get more points and just tuck right here on Rad Dan's door. And do transitions like that, but then I get overzealous and smack into him a little bit. Stay in power. Get the back. Still on his chase, and this is where I need to come up and try and get as much of the points as I can. 
on the close calls with being as close to this door as I can. I'm a little bit far off where I want to be. And that definitely doesn't help. And we'll try and gain some last minute points. Not enough to get up higher in the leaderboard. Probably not enough to beat my last score. But, like I said, we are at least in the leaderboard in the top 200. So we're going to give it one more try with the E46. I'm going to switch up cars a little bit. Try it with a couple other cars. Maybe some pro cars. And uh, shred this parking lot section here with Rad Dan. Almost a perfect entry. I'm just smacking the wall. Ease off there. There we go. A little left foot brake, little hand brakes. I'm gonna cut this short so that I can gain proximity on this door. There we go. This is a much better run down here in the parking lot section than all the other ones. So if we can just capitalize on the ladder section, we could be in a uh, in a run for some good points. There we go. Get some close calls. Cut that so I can uh, work my way back out here. Much better run. We don't hit the wall. A little bit of a wall tap, but we're still good. Don't smack that. Ooh. Oh, that was probably the best. I could have entered in on that. On his door. I think we beat our old score, though. Did we get into the 90s? We may have. Nope, but we did get into 89. 89, 200. That's going to put us significantly higher up in the leaderboards. It's going to crack us into the hundreds. 89. It's going to put us in about 60. It's 65. So definitely super exciting to get up in the top 100s. So we're going to try a different car. I know I probably should just keep running that E46, but we're going to run some other cars and uh, see what we can do. I'm looking for... You know what? Let's give Kelsey Rollins' uh, car a chance here, that V8. I was playing with it earlier and uh, definitely uh, can hold its own if I can... Uh, get the power down when I needed to with her voodoo rides paint and not enter like that that was not the not the way to enter don't do don't enter don't smack red dance bumper but like we are in the 60s so we will finish this run out to see exactly where we place right now in the leaderboards and use the knee break in nice and hard there we go lacked a little bit of Proximity there, lacking a little bit of angle. But we're still holding our own. I could probably try running Supra versus Supra, which we may try and do. It's a perfect transition. That was perfect. Right on Red Dance Bumper. Not the best through some of those turns because we are lower on the points now and we were over 30 in our. Uh, BMW and definitely lost the gap there. I don't think we're going to be able to work our way back in, but nope. Definitely, uh, this run is done. I think we will try a Supra next and try and uh, throw it in with the Supra. Kelsey's car has a lot of grip and uh, it's very good at getting it where it needs to go, but you need to get it there soon because it can hold it. But you just got to get it there. So, let's see where we sit in the leaderboards here right now with a little bit of time left 65th with an 89 so I would like to get up into the top 50s but uh, I don't foresee that really happening unless I grind out with a little bit of time left so I think we should try maybe another car we're gonna try Jody we'll try her Supra and see if we can do it with her Supra up kicking it in I thought we were gonna smack that front end hard on that the twin supers going at it right now looks like I'm losing a little bit of ground through that section can catch it back up I pop that curb 
all a little bit of a straighten there. This is not gonna, this is probably not gonna do it. We will definitely try running Radan Supra against his Supra and do twin Supras of his to see how that would work. We are just trying a bunch of cars, having a little fun with this. I feel very accomplished getting into 65th. I'm sure it'll change by the end of this because I'm sure a lot of people are definitely ripping this challenge. And I need it to be way up against that wall. So we're gonna go switch to Red Dan Supra, give it a try, and then we'll probably switch back to E46 for one or two more runs before we end this episode off. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter, all of which are found in the description box below. If you guys keep wanting to see torture, let me know down in the comments as well. All right, Rad, Dan, let's do it. Twin Supras, Fry Wing your practice Supra. Pick this thing up in the fifth gear. And, uh,. That's not how I wanted to enter, but we're gonna somehow make that work. But I don't think I can drive his Supra as good as he can. I need to flick that a lot wider and try and get those uh, those wall points there in my E46. I feel like I'm most comfortable in the E46, so we'll probably be ending the episode off in that car. I'm gonna smack the wall. Yep, we're gonna go back to the car I'm comfortable in. We're gonna switch back to the E46 and uh, see if we can't maybe get a little bit higher on the leaderboards. It's all about, I feel like, the initiation. If you can get the initiation right, the beginning of the run is almost perfect. So right there, a little, little bump, but nothing that caused me to lose points. Get out there, get those close calls. Ran that a little wide, so I'm gonna have to cut. I'm not gonna be able to get out to that wall like I wanted to. Have to cut that curb. I feel like if I put maybe grippier tires on the rear, we might be okay. It kind of loses me through this section. And that's where some points are definitely lost. So we're going to give it another go here for this. Maybe one or two more tries before we call it quits. But like I said, I definitely feel very accomplished getting up there into uh, 65th spot in this chase challenge. A difficult chase challenge at that. This is definitely probably the hardest chase challenge that I've done here on Torchris so far. All right, so we're gonna run this wide and see if we can get out there. Get some extra close calls, putting us kind of in proximity with him. He's up a little bit. Transition. There we go. Close to the 30s. And that's that. That's that quick hard hit that uh, I don't like, and it puts me a little bit behind here. So I kind of have to cut the angle really quickly to catch up. We were able to stick it back on his door. Oh, no, stay off the wall. Oh. This is a decent run. It's not a super high point scoring run, but a decent run nonetheless, probably in the 80s anyways. Like I said, probably the hardest chase challenge that I've done in this game. I'm going to do one more to end this episode off. So, like I said, make sure you guys tap that subscribe button and hit bell notifications. So you get all the videos when they come out. I would appreciate all the support from you guys. It does help me out when you guys uh, tap that bell notification. That was a good entry. Let's see if we can end this on a high note. Trying to stay more towards his quarter than the front of his car. Over angled there, but we we'll use that to slight advantage. Angle the car out there. I'm gonna try my little uh, wide out trick. Coming short. Kinda puts me right in back proximity to him. Gives me the angle to throw it in hard over the jump. Remember I just try and stick to the close calls. 
really quick snappy transition and that's gonna end it <laughs> that's gonna do it here for today's episode here on torch of rad dan chase challenge as always i like thank you guys for watching i'm evil rabbit my e46 is toast i will see you guys on the track